sugar, spice, and everything nice. These were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect little girl. But Professor Utonium accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction, Chemical X. Thus, the Powerpuff Girls were born! Using their ultra superpowers, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup have dedicated their lives to fighting crime and the forces of evil! girls, I'm back, better than ever, and with bleached eyebrows. <laughs> Jumping right in, go ahead and apply your foundation so we can get started. We will be doing the makeup on Bubbles right now, but just note that they are triplets, so the makeup for her will be the same as the other two, just with minor changes, which I will show at the end. Start off by brightening your under eyes with concealer all the way down to the end of your nose and blend it in. Next, you wanna set that so it stays in place. Be sure to powder the rest of your face too. Jumping into the eyes, take a fleshy toned eye or lip liner, squint, and outline the line you see. Then take a metallic pink eyeliner and fill in the eye bag itself. This is a Japanese makeup trick that helps give you a childish look. Next, apply white eyeliner all over your eyelid so the makeup pops. Then go ahead and apply a light purple eyeshadow. Then use a light brown to define the crease. This will act as an artificial shadow for your eyelashes. If you apply too much, water it down with a white eyeshadow. Now to really open up your eyes, apply a shimmer highlighter on your inner corners and drag that up your eye. Now apply some eyeliner. I'm gonna do mine off camera because I have developed a tremor recently, but basically you want a standard line with no wing. Next, apply thick lashes to make them appear rounder. To enhance the round look, apply a spot of dark brown eyeshadow at the outer corners. Then just apply white eyeliner to brighten the eye. Now, because my lower lash line isn't lined with a dark color, false lashes will look very unnatural, so I'm using the double stacked fiber mascara, which is amazing and giving extra length. To finish off the eyes, I'm applying circle contact lenses. These lenses are essential to any big-eyed cartoon character. Now onto the lips, apply a peachy lip color or any natural tone. To get a childlike pout, apply a red liner around and in the inner corners of your lips and blend it out. To finish off the illusion, add highlighter to the center to bring the lips forward. Lastly, just apply a shiny lip gloss for a sweet look. Now children have very petite noses, so apply contour around the tip of your nose into a triangle to narrow it down if you need to. Again, to finish off the illusion, apply highlighter at the center. Okay, now onto the final step. We are applying blush under the eye and then dragging it down the cheek. Then apply it to your forehead and your chin. Now for Blossom, I just used a ginger eyebrow pencil to fill in my eyebrows very lightly, and then adding some freckles with brown eyeshadow. And I erased a bit of the top lip to give her lips a thin but plump appearance. And for Buttercup, we just darkened and thickened the eyebrow with a dark brown eye pencil and removed the majority of the lipstick to leave her with a rosy thin lip. And so, once again, the day is saved, thanks to the Powerpuff Girls. So, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. See you guys next time. Bye!